Hi, I'm Terry Tucker, author of Sustainable Excellence, 10 Principles to Leading Your Uncommon and Extraordinary Life. Welcome to another edition of Sustainable Excellence Extras. Today, I'd like to talk with you about the necessity of pushing leadership and decision-making down to the local level. Bill O'Brien, the long-tenured CEO of Hanover Insurance, had a powerful strategy for combining learning and leadership. O'Brien observed the calendars of many top executives were divided into 15 to 30 minute increments and their days may contain 10 to 20 meetings. If there are issues and problems that can be resolved in 15 minutes, he thought, why am I spending my time on them? Those are exactly the issues that people should be dealing with at a more local level. The solution was to spend less time in brief meetings and more time networking with people about learning organizations, about company spirit, about shared vision, and about business innovation. When O'Brien had executive meetings, they typically lasted several days to wrestle together with complex divergent issues that plagued local decision makers. The outcomes were often not decisions per se, but better ways to frame key strategic dilemmas and help others understand short versus long-term trade-offs. After more than 20 years of service, during which Hanover went from the bottom to the top quartile of the liability insurance industry, O'Brien concluded that real organizational transformation is a journey few understand. Everyone always buys into the ideas, he said, but after a while, you begin to wonder if anybody wants to be part of an organization with a shared vision, openness, and continual learning, why isn't it the reality? He concluded that people have no idea what it takes to lead such an organization. He discovered that to be an effective leader in a true learning organization, you have to be willing to continually give up your most cherished mental models. You need to be willing to look beyond what has made you effective in the past. Very few people are willing to do that. Perhaps the most difficult mental models to give up concern the very nature of executive leadership. O'Brien indicated that it was a big year if he made three decisions, and two of them were usually personnel related, decisions that he was the only person in the organization able to make. It's not about making decisions, said O'Brien. If we do a good job of understanding difficult issues and clarifying and disseminating our principles, good decisions can be made throughout the organization. Leave me a comment below if you have ever worked for a company that pushed problem solving and decision making down to lower levels and left the senior managers to deal with the major problems and issues facing the company. Also, please head over to motivationalcheck.com to get your daily dose of inspiration and motivation. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.